Hey man, you can know you watch. Wow, wow, my people. Dance ask killer there with some very serious topics right about now. So me ask my people. Alright, so first up, I'm going to present a video to you. And this video directly shows when a person fell in a hole that's at a roadside or because of a damaged the sidewalk in a viewers and subscribers. See? Now I posted a previous video where a person somewhat uh, showed damage the sidewalks and uh, talk about uh, holes that are in those sidewalks or at the roadside. The person also mentioned about uh, a blind man as well in the video. See me? In my point of view, the video that I previously posted and this video that I'm about to present to you are somewhat related. You see what I'm saying to you? So I'm going to present the video to you, my viewers and subscribers, and I want you to share this video as much as possible to help bring an awareness when it comes down to holes in sidewalks or holes in roadsides. You understand me? Yeah, them things that can be dangerous, viewers and subscribers. You see me? Yeah, this video also shows the persons doing whatsoever they could in order to rescue the person from out of the hole or take the person from out of the hole. So, before I present this video to you, this is a warning that some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Observe my people. See what I'm talking about? Person. See, watch it. Two persons assist right this, you know. Watch it. I want this. Jesus and peace. You have to just give thanks and say, alright, still could have hurt himself, wicked, no? That dangerous number of people. Hmm? That really dangerous my people. You understand? Just think about those persons who are not able to see properly walking on the road trying to go to, to, to buy food or to go home or whatsoever. And then there are some big holes and so forth. Them things are dangerous. You understand? Ah, me I tell my people. Hmm. Let me know what to think about that situation. I'm going to move on to another topic. So a report by the Office of Children's Advocate has found that the country's leading child care institution, the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, that's the CPFSA failed to protect female wards of the state after learning that the leader of an American charity who goes by the name of Carl Robanski should not be allowed to interact with minors. The CPFSA's Long-standing chief executive, who some people call Rosalie Gage Gray, had been accused of failure to protect minors in state care, complicity with Robanski's charity and lying in attempts to cover up the inappropriate acts committed by Carl. Yeah, Carl. You know, so, allegedly, them said despite being aware of Carl's previous suspicion of inappropriate sexual conduct with a minor, the CPFSA continued its relationship with Carl and allowed Carl access to minors in Jamaican state care. Now, there are allegations that had been made not only by at least one minor that the man who goes by the first name of Carl did some sexually inappropriate acts on camera and even in person and there's also an allegation of certain things that he had done while he was on a trip to what is said to be a place known as Dungeva Falls in St. Anne, Jamaica 
things that I do not want to specifically detail in this video. But overall, the female who goes by the name of Rosalie Gage Gray is being criticized and talked about because allegedly it is said that she's aware of some things that Carl had done. So listen you know. Another part of this news article said that Carl had his education certificate in the U.S. suspended for two years after he admitted to having sexual inappropriate conversations with a minor. So another part of this said that the CPFSA became aware of his misconduct in 2018. Despite this knowledge, Jamaica's leading child care agency continued its relationship with Carl. In defending the decision to continue the association, the CPFSA's executive director, Rosalie Gage Gray, reportedly testified before the children's advocate that her agency took into account the nature of the incident whether it was a criminal conviction or professional misconduct and the length of time that had elapsed since the incident and when it was revealed to the CPFSA in 2018. So, if you hear say, somebody do something when I write and you have knowledge that somebody do something when I write, why would you allow that person to be around a certain type of situation that can result in the same thing happening again? That makes sense? Then everybody deserves a second chance. But I know so you go all the way, because some people just never learn. So over the three years, it took the CPFSA to terminate its relationship with Carl. He continued to have access to children in state care or children in care and protection of the Jamaican state. This despite an alleged directive that Carl was not to have any access or was not to have access to wards of the Jamaican state, meaning vulnerable minors. Because records indicate that Carl visited the facility that the father's house, which also housed minors, at least 22 times March 2018 and November 2019. During those visits, Carl often watched movies with the vulnerable girls up to 10 at night and with the lights off so daily visitors log contradict rosalie's response to the children's advocate that carl had no access to the wards of the state after his misconduct came to light in 2018. so it seems as if by this information some farmer lie tell or a misinformation or which one I go on all right well anyway so allegedly and uh, it is said that Rosalie also reportedly had a direct knowledge that Carl was still in contact with the wards or those persons in state care it is said that uh, the CP FSA's failings which allowed Carl continued access to vulnerable girls in state care is now under scrutiny i also saw screenshots of what is said to be some form of conversation now allegedly those screenshots shows what is said to be an inappropriate conversation between the car and at least one person who is said to be a ward in jamaican state care now it is not clear to my knowledge who screenshot the conversation that allegedly said to be between Carl and a person in state care or a ward in state care. When we look at the conversation, 
it really and truly look inappropriate. But people, all of these allegations and proof, plus it is said that uh, the man admitted to something. Come on. With all of those signals and signs, I think that is clear enough that this person might not, I would say should not, but for better hosting of this show, I'm going to say might not be good to do a certain type of job because of things that have been brought to light. So, I just do this video for make you know about this type of situation. Because there are a lot of persons who don't even have knowledge of something like this. Happening in Jamaica. As Jamaican. So, don't be afraid to share this video as well too. Well, I think here's where I'm going to leave it in the viewers and subscribers. You know, There's a whole lot more about this whole situation than I can explain. But here's where I'm going to leave it. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell if you like the way home I try to explain certain things. And uh, until the next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up. Hey my you, you know where I watch.